do a quick demonstration of a switch connected to a light bulb. I only have a few hands and I don't have the actual fixture for the bulb. So I'm going to simplify it down and just call it the brake light. We have our switch up here. It's called a normally open switch, meaning it's normally open because you don't want your brake lights on all the time. Only when you push down on the pedal and then the switch closes. So that's our lamp filament over there. And so what did we do? We connected our red wire from our power supply to a terminal on the switch. And it's called the normally open. See where it says NO right there? So red wire is connected to NO. Then the COM terminal on the switch is connected to the yellow wire. So we put our switch over there. And then that leaves us with the yellow wire and then the negative wire from the power supply, the black wire, to connect to the light bulb. So this is the tricky part here because I don't have the socket for this. I'd have to take my car apart and I might need it one of these days. So I could try to put the... Let's see if that works. So I have it wired up now in theory. Push on the brake light and nothing happens. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So brake switch down. Filament lights up. It's not very bright. Let's try the other side. Ooh, there we go. Okay. That was good. I'm just running out of fingers here. So note this, this light bulb gets quick. Or it gets hot very fast. The real important thing here is to remember if the switch is open, in other words, if the circuit loop is not closed, then no current's going to flow. So I push down, I close the loop, release the switch, open the loop, closed, open. So that's something to remember. And the closed circuit looks like this. So this is what the circuit looks like when the button's down. And you can see right there the loop is closed and it's definitely lighting up. It would probably cook my finger if I had it on for more than a few seconds. And old school light bulbs are black body radiators. The, uh, the filament is a resistor, as we were talking about before. And when we pass current through it, it gets hot. And the hotter it gets, the more visible light spectrum you get. Like it starts out you know, in the lower uh, or the longer wavelengths. Like if we turn down our power supply a bit, there may be to about half the voltage. And we just apply the uh, put the voltage across. You can see it's glowing, but it's it's a little bit more red. You know, as we go lower and lower, it gets more and more red. You know, so we're losing those higher wavelengths. So that looks nice and red in there. Yeah, if I cover up the light right there, you can see it's barely glowing. And there's a lot of infrared light, but not a lot of visible light that humans could see. And you know, as we crank up the voltage, start getting more and more of the full spectrum because you know, we're going to shorter and shorter wavelengths, so we're getting the greens and the blues in there. And then ultimately we'd get ultraviolet, but probably not with this bulb. It'll probably burn out first.